Hi, I'm Toby with Advantage Lumber. Today we're going to do a film on epoxy colorant on wooden slabs. This particular persimmon has black fill and it matches the grain line perfectly. What we're going to do is go out to the warehouse and we're going to do our blue fill from woodslabs.com on a piece of coca bola for a nice vibrant look. After it gets dried, cured, sprayed with its finish, we'll make sure we get you some finished product pictures. Okay, so let's head out to the shop and get it handled. Before you start your project, make sure you have all your supplies in order because once you mix these two parts together, they will start to activate and your time is limited at that point. For this project, we will use West Systems 105 Epoxy Resin, 207 Hardener, Ocean Blue Epoxy Colorant, Mixing Cups, Mixing Sticks, and a Propane Torch to remove surface bubbles. To begin, we will add equal parts of resin and hardener to our mixing cup and stir thoroughly. After you get both solutions mixed together, it will get a cloudy consistency. Most bubbles will rise to the top and work themselves out. Colorant, our colorant from woodslabs.com is one gram to one ounce. Uh, this is a five gram increment, so we're going five ounces of liquid. Basically, you can drop it all in there. After you got both solutions in and you got all of your powder in, what you want to do is mix it until you get completely opaque. You don't want any solids in it. You go around the edge, make sure everything's gotten into the liquid. You should be completely opaque by the time you're mixed in. Once your colorant has been completely mixed into the liquid solution, pour the colored epoxy into the open cavities of the wood that you would like to fill. Okay, the oxygen is going to try to work its way up to the top. Use the propane torch to try to pop some of the bubbles. As the epoxy begins to set, you can take your scraper edge, you can pull the edge over to get any recesses that are hanging over off the top of the edge. Propane torch. And as you'll see, you start getting this awesome iridescent color with the mica chips inside this colorant. It'll dry, it'll be absolutely beautiful. When you have all of the epoxy dried, you can go ahead and throw it through the sander, do a little bit of planing. Once your product's completely smooth on the top, you'll be ready for the finishing process. Once you have completed sanding the epoxy, you can finish your project with a stain, sealant, or top coat of your choice to add luster and beauty to your project. Okay, and that's how you do a fill on a wood slab. Uh, make sure to check out woodslabs.com for availability on our colorants, epoxies, and wood slabs. And see us again anytime at advantagelumber.com.